As if not signing Jaden Sancho was bad enough for Man United fans. Edward Wood and Co have gone and done it again. They've given the number seven, the most famous and iconic number that this club has to offer to Edison Cavani. Oh. Manchester United legends have all worn this famous jersey printed with the number seven. Look, I'm going to stay positive and optimistic, but I've got to ask the questions. Why? <laughs> to be honest, that is such a stupid question because I know the answer why. It is plain and simple. Shirt sales. Ed Woodward knows if Edison Cavani is the number seven shirt at Manchester United, he is going to sell a lot more jerseys than if he was like number 21 or any number that's available now. Ed knows this. Ed knows bringing that number seven shirt to Edison Cavani is going to bring in <clears throat> thousands of dollars through the door. But this leads me to ask another couple questions. Is there anybody at the top of Manchester United? I'm talking the board and above. Is there anybody on there that cares for this football club more than they do making a profit? Is there anybody at the top that cares for the legacy of this football club, the future generations, more than they do about stats, figures. Obviously, it's a business at the end of the day. I get that. I've got another question for you. If we had the likes of the legends at this club, like Patrice Evers, the Rio Ferdinands of this world, or even if we had a director of football in Edward van der Sar, who know the club inside out, that knows the iconic history that we have, would they let this happen? Would they let a 33-year-old backup striker who's on a one-year contract take the iconic, most famous number seven shirt we have at this football club? I think it's a valid question. Because I don't think they would. I think, and you know what? I know they wouldn't let this happen. Because I know Patrice Evra knows this football club. I know Rio Ferdinand knows what's best for this club going forward. And when I see Cavani get the number seven shirt, I think to myself, clearly people at the top don't get what it means to be the number seven Manchester United player. I love show and tell as a kid. So I bought some props, okay? Does this, does this name mean anything to you? Okay. How about this? Hey, okay. does this name mean anything to you? Because I'm pretty sure around the world, everyone knows David Beckham. He has his own spy skills for fuck's sake. <laughs> what about this bloke here? Have you heard of him? I'm not too sure. It's iconic, that name. It's famous. Fuck, he's got the most Instagram followers in the world, more than Kim Kardashian. Fuck knows how that works. But more than just these players, one of the best captains our club has ever seen, Ryan Robson, made that shirt famous. Even before him, George Best, who's on the Holy Trilogy, at the front of Old Trafford, made that number famous. Look, and I know Jadon Sancho isn't only gonna come because he wants to wear the Man United shirt. I get that, I get that. I'm, I'm a hardcore fan and you know, I'm a stickler for shirt numbers and whatnot. But, mate, this is an iconic number at our football club. We have built this number ourselves. It has a rich history, the number seven at Old Trafford. This, is just more evidence that the people at the top of this football club they don't care about this club as much as the fans do 
They just don't. This number means something to the fans. Fuck, it's even tattooed on my neck. Every little kid <clears throat> that loves Manchester United gets number seven on the back. We need football people at the top of this football club so better decisions can be made. The number seven at Manchester United is more than just a number.